Dave Ross, I'm here with Mason Fairlick. Congratulations on your win tonight. First of all, uh, ran about 818, second time in that neighborhood this year. Um, so you've run 1324 for 5K as, as well this year. Strength Basically is... Basically twice as well. Yeah. yeah. 1325, 1324. Yeah. Win, win in both of those. So 818 and 818 again. So I mean, I'm in a good spot here. Uh, yeah, I've been reading out your workouts and, and working out with uh, some of the guys like Nick Willis yep. and Hobbs Kessler and yep. those guys. You've got a pretty dynamic group there. Talk a little it. bit about that. <laughs> uh, I like to joke that, you know, we probably have the most age diverse training group and maybe, well, I wouldn't say the world, but uh, certainly in the U.S. here, right? We have a high school phenom, Hobbs Kessler, and one of the oldest guys on the circuit, veteran of the sport, two-time medalist, Nick Willis. So, and I'm like kind of sandwiched in the middle there along with our 800 guy, Mitchell Black, right? Which we also have an 800 guy in our training group, um, but it makes it really dynamic and fun and eclectic. And, you know, I love every minute of working out and training with those guys. We just have this fun mix of energy, you know, Hobbs brings this like innocent, like bountiful, like aspirations, you know, just emerging on the circuit. And Nick's got this wisdom and like history and this knowledge of the sport behind them. And of course, Ron Warhurst just, ties it all together with donuts and chocolate milk, right? So um, it just makes for a fun atmosphere. I think that's honestly part of the credit has to just go to how we've been training this year. I mean, it's just been, you know, we've obviously been extremely focused. Our group's producing great results, but we're doing it in a fashion that's like sustainable and fun and just like everyone's eager to show up to practice and maximize and push each other. Um, we're not like competitive with each other either. So. It's just made for this perfect balance of, you know, mental state going into the trials, which is a really stressful period. And then even the training group is just like the outlet from it. You know, it's not nervous going to practice. It's just like, hey, we're going to be world class. Let's all do it together. I love reading about when you guys are doing a Michigan and somebody runs an incredible segment and you yeah, guys, yeah. you know, flip each other crap, you know, <laughs> afterwards on Instagram about the workout that yeah. day. Yeah. It's so fun to read. So uh, you've run a couple 5Ks. Are you, I imagine you're probably just going to do the steeple at the trials. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, the schedule doesn't really allow for any double with the steeple because right. you know the steeple way to run the prelims um, and the five get to run the prelims as well. I would love to have done both. Honestly, I would love to actually have done the 10K, maybe at the very end if it was like the last day at the trials. Um, but now I'm gonna, you know, all in on the, the steeple. I've had great experience and great memories at Hayward Field. Um, you know, especially with the, you know, the 818 earlier in the season opening up. Um, and I just feel like I know how to race there. So we're going to go. What do you think of the new facility at Hayward oh, Field? It's incredible. Like, they've done a fantastic job. It was so much fun to be in there, even with no crowd, right? We were there with zero fans and it was just a cool atmosphere. So uh, I would love to see it packed. I hope Oregon listens to the science and, like, just allows us to have a real trials. Uh, you know, we're being safe it's it's safe running to safe sport like let's put fans and give athletes the experience they deserve yeah. too and and we're outdoors you would hope that they would do something like if you have a right. proven vaccine or uh, everyone i imagine almost everyone here is vaccinated why not you're not gonna risk that as an athlete um let's do it let's pack the stands let's yeah. you know let's make running the focal point in the olympics something to be hopeful for and eager about going forward so we're three weeks out from the trials now. Any more plans to race between now and then? Yes, uh, tomorrow. We're gonna okay. run the 1500. So okay. I got, somehow I got in the fast seat. Um, you know, I haven't run a serious 1500 in uh, four or five years, right? I actually won a mile earlier in the season here in Florida against Willis. But uh, it was, it's gonna be nice to actually do like a 1500 in the midst of like real training, you know, being strong and, you know, work on some, some speed and again, practice competing so uh no expectations going into it i would love to run like 338 or something but um see how i feel tomorrow after these people so you're 27 now yes okay think, yeah. and if you could go back and give uh, to your 18 year old self and uh you know like hobbs age and give give him a piece of advice what would you give advice to yourself uh i actually wouldn't go back as far as 18. i think 18 you just got to figure it out and run in college and enjoy every part of it and if it works out great if it's not make friends and have a good time doing it i would actually give myself the, my 23 year old self advice on how to redo it coming out of college because i think that's 
kind of actually where our sport fails our young talent potential uh, for the most part, right? We have this great NCAA system. Everyone across the world comes to like the United States to run in the NCAA system. And then it's kind of like, we just could be bought the pasture after that. And, um, you know, I didn't, I was lucky enough and also maybe didn't, wasn't lucky that I didn't join a training group right at college, right? I, I stayed in Ann Arbor with my coach Kevin Sullivan, who's my coach at Michigan. Um, great environment, right? Like, obviously worked in college, was running great, was getting better every year, and you think that trajectory is going to continue, but then you just remove this structure of what it means to be in the NCAA, which I think is great for athlete development. Um, and I kind of just had some listless, listless, rudderless years in there. You know, I got hurt with an Achilles injury the first year out. I fell my, in 2018 on just a training run on a route and tore some cartilage in my knee. And so it's just like, you know, stumbling in those first couple of years to get any sort of momentum or back to where I thought I would be. You know, you come out of college, and I'm like, I'm gonna run 806. You know, like, and I couldn't break 8.30 one year. You know, so it's like, it took finally now to be a pandemic and like kind of finding myself in the sport, I guess you could say. Not that I was ever like lost on what I wanted to do, but like finally getting the foothold of like taking that next step to being hopefully a guy that, or a guy that's gonna make you want to see and trying to compete on the world stage. So um, yeah, I would give myself advice to like find an outlet outside the track. I work full time now for the past three years. I'm actually back in school now for a PhD program. And I think we need to destigmatize doing things outside of uh, what we project is the best way to train, which is like, we think it's just 100% focus every day, 24 seven. When in reality, our NCAA system is eight hours of class, doing homework, coming to practice, and we still produce world-class athletes. So I think people like me needed that structure and thrive off that structure. And it's not an impediment to being as best we can be. Um, and it was great, you know, I had incredibly supportive coworkers. I had advancing my career and finding other passions off the track. And this past year I've done a PhD program and running better than I've ever had. So it's, maybe it's a unique circumstance, like maybe it's not, not everyone can do that, but I certainly have died off it. And I think a lot of people could. Yeah, some we've capacity. had some fantastic results from this so far. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Well, uh, congratulations on your win tonight and we Thank wish you. you the best of luck at the trials. Thank you so much, appreciate it.